Are you a black person and planning a trip to visit the world and roam some favorite countries on your list? If that's the case, then before you apply for a visa, you have to know which countries you should avoid and don't visit if you don't want to ruin your vacation. It isn't that these countries won't offer you a visa. They will let you come. However, soon after landing there, you will feel uneasy. That's because the society you will live in and the institutions you will have to visit will make you feel the subtle racism. They won't tell you. However, the treatment and how they perceive you tell everything. So what are the countries you should not visit if you are a black person? Welcome to a new episode of Black Afric Diary, a channel where we talk about black African history, culture, arts, and civilization. It's a place where you will see the real picture of black Africa, its stories, and the events defining it. In this episode, we will tell you about 10 countries where black people are not welcomed. Let's get started. Number 10. China. China undoubtedly has risen to become a global superpower. However, it's not without racism. These biases came into sharp focus during the COVID-19 pandemic. In 2020, the southern city of Guangzhou, home to one of China's largest African communities, saw a disturbing wave of discrimination. African nationals were evicted from their homes, denied services, and subjected to racial profiling as false rumors circulated that Africans were responsible for spreading the virus. One of the most shocking events involved the eviction of over 200 Africans in Guangzhou, many of whom were left to sleep on the streets or seek temporary shelter. Images and videos of African families being denied entry to hotels and businesses quickly went viral, sparking global outrage. In response, several African embassies and the African Union lodged formal complaints with the Chinese government. However, while the government offered diplomatic assurances, the deeper issue of racism against black people in China remained largely unaddressed. Outside of these extreme events, black travelers and expatriates regularly encounter racism in China. Common instances include being refused entry to restaurants or shops. A Ghanaian student in Beijing recounted being asked to leave a local restaurant because the staff informed him they don't serve foreigners. While China has made great achievements in economic modernization, its progress on racial tolerance lags. Black individuals often find that racial biases, reinforced by negative media portrayals, create a hostile environment. In smaller cities, black people are regularly stared at, photographed without their consent, and harassed. This ongoing racial discrimination makes China a challenging place for many black travelers. Number nine, Israel. Israel, known for its deeply significant religious sites and historical landmarks, attracts millions of visitors each year. However, beneath this tourism appeal lies a more complex reality, particularly when it comes to black people, specifically African immigrants. Israel has long struggled with racism against African immigrants, especially those arriving from countries like Eritrea and Sudan who come seeking asylum. A 2023 report by the Anti-Defamation League revealed a 30% rise in racially motivated incidents targeting African immigrants in Israel. In Tel Aviv, home to a large community of African asylum seekers, protests have broken out, at times turning violent. Many Israeli demonstrators demand the deportation of African migrants, perceiving them as a threat to Israel's demographic balance. These tensions have been further fueled by government policies, which often label African migrants as infiltrators, worsening public sentiment toward them. For African immigrants, the challenges don't end at protests. They face systemic barriers, from difficulties obtaining legal status to exclusion from job markets. In 2018, the Israeli government proposed a controversial plan to either deport African migrants or imprison them in detention centers if they refuse to leave. Though the plan was ultimately halted after facing significant global backlash, the proposal revealed the deep-rooted discrimination that African migrants face. In 2019, a group of African asylum seekers in South Tel Aviv was attacked by Israeli nationalists, 
showing the physical dangers black people can face in certain parts of the country. Black tourists visiting Israel's religious sites may not encounter the same level of hostility that African immigrants do, but many have reported feeling uncomfortable due to racial profiling, especially in high security areas like the old city of Jerusalem. Number eight, South Korea. South Korea, widely known for its cutting edge technology, pop culture, and rich historical heritage, draws millions of tourists each year. However, Beneath its modern image, the country remains largely homogeneous, and black individuals, whether visitors or expatriates, often find themselves feeling out of place. Racism here is a persistent issue, with black people encountering a range of discriminatory behaviors, from subtle microaggressions to more overt acts of exclusion. A 2023 survey from Seoul National University revealed that 55% of black expatriates had experienced some form of racial discrimination during their time in South Korea. These incidents can range from being stared at in public or avoided in social settings, to more direct forms of racism like being denied service at certain businesses. Black individuals in South Korea frequently report uncomfortable encounters where they are treated as outsiders in everyday situations. South Korean media has also been criticized for promoting negative stereotypes of black people. Television programs and advertisements have at times portrayed black individuals in offensive or exaggerated ways, reinforcing harmful biases. Even in the K-pop industry, cultural appropriation and the misuse of black culture have sparked heated debates, further highlighting the racial challenges within the country. While younger generations in South Korea are becoming more familiar with global diversity through music, fashion, and social media, deeply rooted biases still linger. For black travelers, South Korea can be both a fascinating and frustrating destination. It offers unique cultural experiences, but facing the racial dynamics can be difficult, particularly in regions that are less accustomed to foreign visitors. Number seven, India. India, a country known for its cultural diversity and historical richness, also struggles with issues of colorism and racism that can be particularly challenging for black visitors. Although India is celebrated for its warm hospitality, black individuals often face stares, offensive comments, and at times, outright discrimination. In 2023, a shocking incident in New Delhi saw a Nigerian student brutally attacked by a group of local residents showing the ongoing tensions between Africans and some Indian communities. Unfortunately, such attacks are not isolated, but part of a broader pattern of racial violence that black expatriates, especially students, have encountered in India over the years. Many black people report being viewed with suspicion or treated with disdain. Racial slurs, difficulty securing housing, and unfair treatment in public spaces are common experiences for black people in India. This racism is closely linked to the country's deep-seated colorism, which favors lighter skin tones. This bias affects not only black visitors, but also India's own darker-skinned citizens. The preference for lighter skin is perpetuated in everyday life, the media, and particularly the beauty industry, where skin whitening products are heavily promoted. While India's rich culture and hospitality continue to attract travelers, Black visitors must be prepared for the racial challenges they may face, especially in more rural areas where diversity is less common and biases are more pronounced. Number six, Russia. While Russia is known for its cultural richness and sprawling landscapes, the experiences of black visitors and residents often tell a very different story. Racism remains a pervasive issue in many parts of the country particularly outside of the more cosmopolitan cities like Moscow and St. Petersburg. In smaller towns, black people frequently face racial slurs, harassment, and in some cases, outright violence. One of the most tragic incidents occurred in 2010, when a Nigerian student was brutally stabbed to death by a group of skinheads in St. Petersburg. This horrifying event showed the rising threat posed by ultranationalist and far-right groups in Russia many of which have been responsible for a significant amount of racially motivated violence. These groups often specifically target black individuals, 
making Russia a dangerous place for many. A 2023 report by the SOVA Center, a Russian human rights organization, recorded over 60 racially motivated attacks, many of which involved black people. One particularly chilling event involved a Congolese man who was beaten in Moscow while bystanders looked on and did nothing to intervene. Verbal abuse and public humiliation are also common, with a black woman recounting her experience of being routinely harassed on public transport, with passengers staring or making offensive comments. Despite government efforts to address racism, including public awareness campaigns, little progress has been made. Racism remains deeply rooted, fueled by nationalism and a lack of education about diversity. Even during the 2018 FIFA World Cup, when Russia was in the global spotlight, several black players and fans reported being subjected to racial slurs. Black Russians, often the descendants of African students who came to the Soviet Union in the 1960s and 1970s, continue to face systemic racism, with many being excluded from employment opportunities and other aspects of society. Before we continue further, tell us, are you enjoying the video? If yes, please like and share the video and subscribe to our channel to watch more videos on Black Africa. Let's continue now. Number 5. Japan Japan is often praised for its politeness, safety, and high standard of living, making it a popular destination for both tourists and expatriates. However, black visitors often encounter a different kind of challenge in Japan, where racism tends to be more subtle, but still prevalent. A 2022 study by the Japan Times found that 45% of black expatriates had experienced some form of racial bias. This discrimination is rarely overt, but it shows up in subtle ways, such as black people being stared at in public, ignored in social settings, or excluded from conversations. In restaurants and stores, black visitors may feel a sense of detachment or coldness from staff who are less familiar with foreigners. While larger cities like Tokyo and Osaka are more open and accepting of foreign visitors, smaller towns can be more challenging. In less urbanized areas, Black individuals often attract more stares and curiosity due to their unfamiliarity. Another concern is racial profiling by police, which Black men in particular report experiencing more frequently than other groups. Japan's media has also been criticized for reinforcing negative stereotypes of Black people. In advertisements, TV shows, and fashion, Black individuals are often portrayed inaccurately or in a stereotypical manner, further alienating Black travelers. Number 4. Saudi Arabia Saudi Arabia, known for its strict traditions, immense wealth and religious importance particularly in the cities of Mecca and Medina, also has a troubling track record when it comes to the treatment of black people. This issue is especially severe among migrant workers, many of whom come from African countries seeking employment but face harsh working conditions and racial discrimination. A 2023 report by Human Rights Watch revealed that most labor disputes in Saudi Arabia involved black workers, many of whom reported abuse and mistreatment. Migrants from countries like Ethiopia and Sudan often experience poor working conditions, delayed or withheld wages, and even physical abuse under the kafala system, which ties workers to their employers, significantly limiting their freedoms. In addition to these labor issues, Black tourists also face cultural barriers that can make travel in Saudi Arabia uncomfortable. While the holy cities of Mecca and Medina are welcoming to pilgrims of all races, other parts of the country can present challenges for Black visitors. Saudi Arabia's cultural norms, which restrict personal freedoms, can leave Black travelers feeling out of place or under scrutiny. Number 3. Greece Greece, famous for its breathtaking islands and ancient history, is often praised for its warm hospitality. But for black visitors, this hospitality can sometimes be overshadowed by encounters with racism, particularly outside the well-trodden tourist spots. In popular cities like Athens and Santorini, where diversity is more common, black people, especially those of African descent, generally find the atmosphere more welcoming. However, 
In smaller towns and rural areas, the reception can be less friendly, often marked by racial tensions. One of the key drivers of this tension is Greece's ongoing migration crisis, which has put African migrants at the center of much of the hostility. Many come seeking asylum, but are frequently met with discrimination. A 2023 survey by the European Union Agency for Fundamental Rights revealed that nearly 48% of black people in Greece had faced racial discrimination, particularly in public spaces and workplaces. This growing divide means that both black residents and visitors frequently find themselves in uncomfortable and discriminatory situations. While tourists may not always experience overt hostility, many black travelers report feeling uneasy due to frequent stares, racial profiling, and harassment. This type of treatment tends to be more common in the less diverse rural parts of the country where people are less accustomed to seeing visitors of African descent. Despite efforts by the Greek government to address these issues through anti-discrimination policies, the legacy of racism remains. Number two, Ukraine. Ukraine has captured the world's attention in recent years due to its ongoing conflict with Russia. But even before the war, the country had a reputation for being unwelcoming to black people. Racism has been a persistent issue, especially for black students and expatriates who have lived in Ukraine. The country's struggles with racial tolerance became particularly evident in 2022 during the early days of the Russian invasion. As the war escalated, multiple reports surfaced of African students and residents being denied access to buses and trains as they attempted to flee conflict zones. Many were abandoned at the borders as Ukrainian authorities prioritized white Ukrainians for evacuation. This unequal treatment sparked international outrage with videos and testimonies of black students being pushed aside, circulating widely on social media. Human rights organizations and African governments quickly condemned the discriminatory treatment, bringing attention to Ukraine's ongoing racial issues. Ukraine has long ranked poorly in racial tolerance. According to the Global Tolerance Index, Ukraine is among the lowest ranking European countries in terms of inclusivity. Black students who have studied in Ukraine frequently report facing systemic racism, from enduring stares on public transportation to being the target of derogatory comments. A particularly harrowing event occurred in 2016 in Kharkiv, where a Nigerian student was attacked while racial slurs were hurled at him. These incidents have left deep emotional scars on those who had come to Ukraine in search of educational and professional opportunities. Number 1. Italy Despite its reputation for art, history, and culture, Italy has long struggled with racial tensions, particularly toward black people. The influx of African migrants and refugees in recent years has intensified these tensions, leading to an increase in xenophobia, verbal abuse, and at times, physical violence. One of the most alarming incidents took place in 2018 in Macerata, where a far-right extremist opened fire on six African migrants, injuring them. The shooter, Luca Traini, claimed he was taking revenge for the murder of a young Italian woman, even though her death had no connection to African migrants. This attack brought attention to the growing hostility black immigrants face in Italy and the dangerous rise of far-right nationalism. A 2022 report from the Italian National Institute of Statistics showed a 35% increase in racially motivated crimes, with black individuals being a significant target. Much of this racism stems from the arrival of African immigrants, particularly in Southern Italy, where economic struggles have fueled anti-immigrant sentiment. In Palermo, for example, a Nigerian man was attacked by a group of men in 2021 who shouted racial slurs before physically assaulting him. While cities like Rome, Florence, and Venice are generally safer for black travelers, incidents of subtle discrimination are still common. Tourists report being stared at, refused service, or treated with suspicion in public spaces. Meanwhile, African migrants and asylum seekers face systemic racism, often living in substandard conditions. A 2021 Human Rights Watch report highlighted the appalling conditions in Italy's refugee reception centers where overcrowding and neglect have led to health and safety crises. Italy has taken steps to combat racism, such as implementing the Mancino Law, which criminalizes hate crimes. However, 
These measures have been only partially effective. Far-right political parties have capitalized on rising anti-immigrant sentiment, further fueling racial tensions. For black residents and visitors, the realities of racism often overshadow Italy's cultural charm, making it a difficult country to navigate safely. Did you visit any of these countries and have a bad experience there as a black person? What can be the reason for subtle and sometimes direct forms of racism there? In the comment section below, share your thoughts on which countries black people can visit for an awesome experience. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. We bring videos on Black Africa, its history, rich arts and culture, and things the world should know about. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned.